Hey there, it's Robin. Welcome back to the episodes where I show you how I edit my videos. Maybe let's give it a name for these series of tips, um, the edit room. So here's the edit room part three. Today I've got something truly exciting to share with you. We are diving into the world of creativity with Photoshop AI and After Effects. I'll walk you through the steps to create this incredible infinite zoom effect that will leave your viewers and all. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first step is importing the picture into Photoshop. Then we will zoom out a little bit like this so that we have more room to work with. Then we select the crop tool and expand the picture like this. And then we put our prompt in. You can get creative uh, with the prompts. You can literally say anything and then Photoshop will generate uh, multiple results for you. And after we get the results, we will export this picture and put it in a folder so that it's easier the, it's easier to work with. Yeah. Then we will import the same picture back into Photoshop and then we will expand the same picture again. Select the crop tool, expand. And after we expand, we put our prompt again. I just wanted a bird's eye view of the city and the clouds. Yeah, Photoshop will take its time. And once we get the results like this, we import the same picture. And then first we export it. We export it and save it. After we export the picture, we import it back into Photoshop and then we will expand the same picture again. Use the crop tool, make it bigger. this and then put another prompt here I want the same bird eye view but from space let's Photoshop do this thing after we get this result we will export it and after the export, we will, I think I have four pictures by now. So I will use these as my reference for the zoom effect. I have saved them in a folder like this with numbered so that it's easier and more organized to work with. After we prepared all the pictures, then we take it into After Effects. In After Effects, we turn off all the layers except the last one, and then we use the Transform tool to scale it up to our frame. And then we turn on the second one, and then trying to align the second picture to the first the background. And as you can see, I'm using the scale and the opacity to align and adjust. Um, and as you can see, after I make it fit, then I will take the whip tool from the base layer to the third picture like this and we scale it up to fit the frame and then turn on the next layer and scale it back to a smaller area and reduce the opacity so it's easier to align the pictures as you can see I'm um, just uh, experimenting on it and then scale it back use different numbers and stuff so that it's easier and then take the whip tool and attach it and also zoom in again and after that turn on the second layer and then do the same process as we did on the previous pictures scale opacity turn it back to 100 take the whip tool and then attach it and zoom in to fit the frame and turn on the last layer do the same stuff 
scale it smaller then make sure the edges match reduce the opacity to, it's easier to look as you can see i'm trying to fit the subject size same like this and then we take and then we close in all the layers and select the rest of the pictures and then take all the whip tool to the first picture this is an important step and after we do that we will scale it back to fit the whole frame and while selecting the first layer what we do is we will make a keyframe and then scale it let's say you have to experiment with these numbers uh, as you can see i'm trying to find the first layer like the space picture so i'm just uh, typing some random numbers so that i can get to the first picture yeah here as you can see 0 0.9 is working for me so this can frame what this will do is it will start to zoom from the space picture to the subject and as you can see i'm making the keyframes to ease in and ease out and then i'll select the keyframe assistant trying to make the, exp uh, the zoom in effect exponential so that there is no jittery in, in the middle of the zoom and as you can see now i'm doing trying to fix the edges you fix the edges by adding feather to each picture what we do is we select this rectangle tool on each picture and then we will have this thingy called mask yeah once we get the mask we will add a feather to the mask and mask some mask mask expansion would work good then do this for all of the pictures as you can see you can see the edges here so i don't want to see the edges so that's why we're putting a mask on it so a mask feather on it so that it's a smooth transition on the edges and doing the same process to all of the pictures as you can see mask expansion and max feather should work fine and play with the numbers and once you're happy with all of the results and the edges looks smooth then we will have this smooth zooming effect so thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video uh, I would appreciate it if you subscribe or not, you know, it's your choice, but we'd be happy if you hit that red button thing, you know, below. Yeah, so peace.